pocket reviews. Hi everyone, pocket reviewer here. Pocket gamer is there. Pocket reviewer here or here or here. But we've gamers over there. This is going to be the portion of my review section. I am going to be doing reviews, gameplays, and why am I saying reviews and gameplays? Well, yeah, because I'm doing LP. Anyways, uh, this is going to be the introduction of my first and only for quite a while. It's going to be the first review I'm going to be doing, and it's going to be in based on the game that I played recently. Just to, well, not re it's actually really recently. I just be played it, not beat it. I played it for about half an hour ago. Um, this game is called Ikachan. What is Ikachan? Let me tell you, Ikachan is. I consider it a prequel, but people just say it's a completely different storyline from a specific game. And um, basically, you wake up in a mysterious cave, similar to another game in which I will not mention the name until I get to that game. It's a cave story. But anyways, um, this game is based on the company that helped make uh, the game called Cave Story. Cave Story was originated by Nicholas, and Nicholas decided to make an, I want to say a prequel, like I said, which is this game that I just showed you just a few minutes ago. Uh, Ikachan was not my favorite game. The reason because of that is because it's short and it's hella freaking pointless. The uh, reason because I'm saying that it did cost $5. I don't understand why it costs five dollars. It's short, and it has a good storyline, but it's not hard. It's moderate, but the save data is a little weird. The save system is different. Um, it's not too different from the uh, cave story, but this one is really, really bad for some reason. Um, the reason I'm saying that is because I died many times during the gameplay. <laughs> what I'm saying eight times, like that, like twice, three times, something like that. Besides that, uh, so hard. Um, I want to say it wasn't hard, but I want to say it was hard. Reason because I'm saying that is because at the end, there's a certain point. First, first off, let me just mention it. This place takes place in a mysterious cave, and that whole cave. It's the whole level, and that whole level is the whole entire game. I'm not saying it's the worst game. I'm saying it's one of the worst. Reason because of that is because save system is weird, gameplay is weird, and I can't. I don't have a third one. The last one I was gonna say, it's made by Nicholas, but that's a good one because Nicholas, like I said, it made Cave Story. Cave Story is an awesome game. I will actually show you an image right now of what Cave Story is, and it's right around here. Before it, while it loads, I'm gonna mention this was one of my favorite games. I literally played the game to death when I had a DSi. This is the DSi version, like I said. I will soon get the 3DS version because you get the wider screen. But besides that, Cave Story is made by Nicholas. Here it is, Cave Story. Dokutsu, no, I forgot what it was called. All I know is the beginning is called Dokutsu, and I will get to a point in which I played this game. But this is just going to be a one-off episode, the Eagle Chan episode. Reason because of that, I died at the end. And at the end, there is no save point. Save points are important. I should be able to save in a spaceship like I can in the game. For some reason, it decided to let me die at this. This game is made in which you can't save at the end. So, yeah. Igichan gets. The storyline is not too hard. It's basically you wake up as a squid in the middle of a mysterious cave and you see a little star on the side right around the here in the corner and you're right here uh... you start exploring and start meeting i don't know what the hell they are the fish people things besides that uh... Um, it's 
good game, but not a great game to recommend to everyone. It's a casual game. It's not too hard. But even besides that, um, so gameplay. This is how it works. Move left and right. Tap A button. A button is basically your swim. As you swim, you move. And as you choose the direction, you get to choose your... Uh, well, yeah, you basically get to choose if you want to swim left or you want to swim right. The only thing I worry about is because I played many, many Nintendo games in which you even need involvement. And when you tap buttons way too freaking fast, and if you tap that button too much... It will get to a point in which the game, the button starts malfunctioning and it doesn't work popular, popular, popularly. I don't know how to say the word. Anyways, uh, I give this game a three out of five. The reason I'm giving it a moderate score is because it's not the worst game I played, but it is not one of the games plays that game. Like, yeah, not the best games that I played reason because of that it's too short it's too simple but the storyline is good and the controls are precisive all I want to say Ikachan $5 at the Nintendo eShop if you want to buy it and you want to try it out be my guest and the gameplay footage that I played wasn't good enough besides that uh like i said five no why did i say five three out of five Iguchan get to see and i will see you guys later wait is that a five c no it gets a d so yeah uh i would recommend you guys play it but don't buy it if you guys can manage to get it out of the freaking pirate's base, something like that, um, get it. Uh, but I would not recommend to buy it. Nicolas, don't sue me. Besides that, uh, Nicolas makes a great game. My next project, like I said, is going to be Cave Story, but that won't be done until a really 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 long time reason because of that is like I said I'm gonna buy the 3ds version that is the DSi version and the DSi version I played it so it's a good quality thumb and then there's the blurry thumb and you can barely see stuff I don't know why I'm doing this um, I think I'm gonna blur it out for you guys <laughs> yeah there you go anyways um, Pocket Reviewer, Ikechan, bam, 3 out of 5, bam, I will see you guys in the next review, which is going to be either Sonic, I believe it's going to be Sonic Generations first, reason because of that is because I'm going to beat that game pretty soon, and I hope I can beat it tonight, uh, besides that, after that it's going to be Mario Bros 2, and then after that, I don't know what other project I'm going to start working on, most likely it's going to be, and I hope it is, mystery because I'm not gonna tell you what game I'm gonna play where am I I think I mentioned it already I think yeah I'm gonna buy that game uh, besides that Nintendo eShop open up close your servers or do something I can't there's an issue right now going with the Nintendo eShop that will not allow me to play my next let's play sooner than I expected uh, but besides that, um, I'm going to play the game that I'm going to play re right now, and I hope you guys can enjoy it. Uh, besides that, it has been I, Pocket Reviewer here, saying goodnight to you guys, and have a great time. Uh, Ikachan gets 3 out of 5, bang, and I will see you guys then, alright? Take care, and... This will be done soon. Not this version, but soon. Good night, everybody.